What is up, guys? We are back with another reaction video. This time we're checking out Dire Straits, Sultan's a Swing. Except I reacted to this about two weeks ago. You're gonna be like, what the heck? You already did this. But no, no, apparently I missed the best part. Alchemy Live version. Apparently I missed the solo or something like that. Everyone was so mad, like, how could you do that? That's freaking sacrilege. And I'm like, guy, I just searched Sultan's a Swing and that was the first one that popped up. But yeah, apparently this is the best version. I don't know about that. That first version was pretty sick. I don't know how they're gonna be able to top that. So why don't we just jump into this, see what it's all about, all right? Let's do it. It's gonna be interesting to see how it compares to the other versions. Oh, okay. Okay. I love the little licks they added. Okay, 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 okay. You can clearly tell, you can clearly tell this one's live. The last one I reacted to, I thought it was live, but it was just a recording and they like dubbed it later on. You could you can completely tell, this is a completely different vibe and atmosphere. I think I prefer this one so far, but it might be a bit too early to tell. I just wanna keep, I wanna keep going, see how, see how it progresses. I love how he wears a headband. You don't see that. That must be his little niche, his thing. We're getting softer, we're getting softer. All right. That's what you call rock and roll, it's dead on with that. The Sultans. Oh yeah, the Sultans. Dance up swing. Da 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 da. Look at these three. That's, that's a freaking rock band right there. You don't freaking mess around with those guys. Oh, take it away. Take it away, my man. These things are freaking lethal weapons. We're getting quiet. We're getting quiet one more time. We're getting quiet. He's got freaking three keyboards there. <laughs> what the heck? says it less 
Yes. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. Look at that. Look at that freaking drummer go. He's banging those things like they own own freaking money or something. He really does. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I gotta take a second. In my last video when I reacted to the song, you guys said like, oh yeah, did you know that this song uh is written about a band that they saw that was terrible? And this just puts it into perspective. Could you imagine being that band that inspired the song? You gotta thank him. Oh, this must be the solo. He's playing a lot of dead notes. Man, that's how you set up a freaking rhythm. He's dressed like a freaking NBA player too. He's got the headbands, the wristbands. He's freaking making that guitar sing. Okay, what the heck is this? We're taking a huge pullback now. Let's calm down a lot. I love the audience clapping in the back, setting the tone. Great freaking energy all around. Okay, now that I'm watching this, I see why you guys were mad that I reacted to the other version. This one is freaking leaps and bounds ahead. It's better so far. Let's see how they wrap it up though. All you're hearing is clapping and the guitar solo, that's it. He's using his finger picking too, not even using a pick. I love to see that, because I never play with a pick either. It, I feel like it just takes away from something. Get a little bit faster. Get a little bit faster. Oh, we're jumping now. Mm. Look at those three. It's like the freaking Avengers coming together. But make no mistake, that guy on the right, he's he's the lead man right there. They just look like they're having a freaking great time.
There hasn't been a spoken word in like five minutes. Sometimes less is more, and this is a perfect song about for that. Okay. Oh, we're gonna have a big finish here. I'm feeling it. Come on. Let's see it. I know it's coming. We all know it's coming. Look at him. He was about to jump that guy on the right. He's ready. I'm, I'm waiting for this. Is it coming? Please tell me it's coming. Oh, there it is. Okay, okay, okay. I get why you guys were so freaking pissed at me that I chose the other version. Because this one's far superior. It's not even freaking close. It wasn't even close. The energy in the room, the freaking drummer going nuts. It was literally a night and day difference. And I don't know how on God's green earth, why would they even cut out that final solo? It just doesn't make sense to me. That was one of the best parts of the song. And in this version, they spent literally over half the song, not even saying a single word. And it actually not only worked, but it was freaking fantastic. The only thing I'm wondering is how the heck that drummer did not get tired because he was literally going crazy for like 10 minutes long. And still, still towards the end, he was just as fast as he was in the beginning. Like honestly, when it comes to rock and roll and just pure music, this is probably as pure a rock and roll song as there ever could be. There were freaking three guitarists, you had a bassist, you had the drummer, you had the guy on the keyboards. All in all, they just came together for a freaking masterpiece. That was a work of art right there. I love how the guitar which is so clean throughout. I hate when they add so much reverb and all these freaking effects. Sometimes it is just beautiful in its simplicity and less is more. And this is the perfect example. If I was a fan before, I'm a freaking air conditioner right now. This is freaking beautiful rock and roll at its finest. I loved every second of it. And I could see why you guys were so mad at me before. I'm sorry, you guys were right, I'm wrong. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, make sure to smash that like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what I should react to next. I'd be happy to do it. And have a great day, everybody. Take it easy.